Kaylin, you were really efficient today. Just uh, wondering what your thoughts were on your day overall and if you could specifically talk about the 20-yard touchdown throw you had uh, to Andrew and then the 38-yard pass down the sideline to, to Luke has. Those look like maybe your best throws of the day. I feel like it was, uh, like you said, definitely efficient. But, you know, as Petrino said, definitely can get better. You know, he got on to me a couple times on some reads. So, you know, he uh, expects perfection out of me, but um, out of, you know, the whole offense, you know, he wasn't – he would, I mean, he was definitely like happy, but you know, there's definitely stuff to clean up. You know, that's what that's why I like. And on Drew's, on Drew's play, you know, I saw, um, I knew he had a a go route and it was one on one. I like the matchup. You know, all I had to do is just give him a chance and let let him do the rest. Down the sideline to Luke on that about the, I think the fifth possession, first play. Uh, I just saw, um, I just saw him one on one, and I feel like anybody. Whether it's our tight ends or receivers, um, I, I really love that matchup. And like I said, all I got to do is just you know give him a chance, and um, he made a great catch and um, uh, got it down. So you know kept kept the chains moving. One of your throws was a 15 yard catch and run to you. Um, you don't you don't have like a whole history of like catching a lot of passes, but uh, Coach Pittman says you guys are going to be used quite a lot in in the receiving game. Um, just curious on your thoughts on that catch and, and Taylor, if you can comment on the play also and um, just what you think you can do in the passing game. I just feel like I'm underrated when it comes to the, to the passing game. Like a lot of people feel like I, I'm not a great route runner or I can't catch. Like bro, I, I play quarterback. Quarterbacks have to catch the ball every play. So like – I don't I don't get that. But uh but uh yeah, that play, we had a uh a corner blitz. Hey, let him know that he was coming. He seen me, did it off and let my my uh, playing abilities take over. He felt like when you're out there in a game, you know, where you can bounce off of people that you actually play better. Do you like the more physical style in the game than maybe in a practice where they blow the whistle early? Practices. I like. I like knowing. Like, cause defense feel like they made the tackle. Like, bro. Like, no, that's not what that is, bro. Like, it's 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 more to it than which than what you're doing. Like, but uh, like I gotta say, scrimmages, the scrimmages and games show it all. Like, you think you make that that, that player practice, but that same play show up in the scrimmage. Now you like, oh yeah, okay. But yeah, I, today was. I had I had a great time today. It was fun. Like Ten yard line like that, and they give it to me four times. Can they stop you? Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna like is it's my job to get in the end zone. That's 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 what they brought me here for. So I'm going every every time. It shouldn't take like I tell myself. It shouldn't take you more than two times within ten yards to get in the end zone. That's just my mentality. One more question: the offensive line. How do you feel like it's improved this spring? I mean, you just feel like it's, it looks like a completely different unit than it did at the end of the season, well, even last season, a whole season for that matter. I mean, like you said, it, on paper, it is a completely different unit. We got a different man leading us, um, but just we're actually a unit. We're a brotherhood. We're tighter. We're the tightest O line unit I've been a part of, um, and that's a breath of fresh air. Uh, we're uh, Coach Mateo said today, like we we just got it rolling. Um, at the beginning of the semester, we we started this journey, and now we're finally getting it on the track. And we got to keep that momentum going through the summer. And we're just excited to get back to work on Monday. Taylor, what was your perspective on the little dump off to, to Quinn and his, his touchdown on that play? I mean, I felt like it was we was on the same page. Great communication, you know. He knew he knew uh, he was hot, and you know he he yelled it at me. <laughs> and like that's what I like, you know. He like he said he played quarterback, so he gets. He gets a lot of stuff, and um, he understands defense. He understands fronts and all that. So it's, it's great to you know have have that in the backfield with me. You know, as help. Um, and like I said, you know, um, saw the saw the cow saw that we call it cowboy, um, and it was one on one with the uh, with the with the defense, and loved that matchup. You know, nobody's gonna tackle him one on one, and um, got got the touchdown after that. So. I know the last couple of weeks, you know, Armstrong's been dealing with an injury. You know, Broden missed a week, and you had both those guys back today. Just how nice was it to have those guys throw the ball too? Oh, it was pretty cool. You know, it was definitely, I definitely love love throwing to them. You know, big targets and um, they're aggressive. You know, when the ball's in the air, it's stay ball. You know, it's not like I said uh, before. You know, it's not a fifty fifty ball. They're gonna come down with it, and just just seeing that today, um, just the 
the the frame that they have and the the aggressive like catches that they that they uh, possess you know is is definitely um good to see you know as a quarterback you know just having that confidence of of you know if I throw it when I throw it in their area and then they're going to come down with it Coach Pittman said that you guys have come a long way since November and you have a better football team now. From your perspective, what do you think about that? Um, I mean, I would agree with him. Uh, I can only speak for the offensive line, but I feel like we we have improved greatly. Uh, we've gotten back to the foundation of offensive line play, which is technique. And like I said, we're just excited to get back to work on Monday and ride this through the summer. You know, some of those plays maybe where you got touched, you might not have gotten tackled. What what are your thoughts on that and just not been able to fully go one hundred percent? Well, it definitely definitely wasn't tackled. But <laughs> but I feel like, you know, it's good it's good for me to, you know, just go through my reads and just stay in the pocket and um like just just to do that, you know, um being able to, you know, take my legs away a little bit um and go through my pure progression and uh, full progression, whether, you know, JJ is the check down and just taking the check down to see, you know, how, how the game, how the game is, you know, cause you know, a check down can turn into like it did 15, 15, 20 yards. And um, just the ability to do that and get the reps of that. Um, well, while in the, in the fall, you know, being live and um, having that dual threat um, ability, you know, it's definitely, it definitely helps me, you know, my development of, you know, um, the passing game. Jake, Jalen, I know, uh, you know, Roden was off for a while and he looked pretty sharp today. What do you think of his spring and how impressed for you that he, how sharp he was today, given that he missed some practices? Well, definitely super, super impressive, you know, how he came out on today. Um, even the whole spring, you know, the consistency, you know, we've been down um, a couple, you know, receivers throughout the spring, but, you know, they didn't, all of them didn't complain, you know, they just uh, strapped their helmets on and, you know, got to work. Um, and, you know, we see, you know, the GPS numbers, you know, they're every single day they have one of the highest workloads every single day. But um, like I said, they they don't complain. And, um, you know, he stepped away a little bit um, um, midway through the spring. But like you said, he didn't miss a beat. You know, he was definitely real professional today and um, went out and, you know, had a, had a real, really good day. And that's what, you know, that's why I'm most proud. And that's why I really love, you know, and, and, and on the sidelines, you know, just the the camaraderie that we have, you know, just the the ability to just, you know, relax and um, just talk ball. You know, that's what I like. We're obviously new, but, and there's a lot of new guys on the old line. What was your take on the old line playing, you know, but with those guys in front of you all spring? Um, I, I'm really impressed, you know, how they come about um, every single day because um, they have a lot on their plate um, with the installs and, you know, the different run checks and the run game and the pass game and the pass pro, you know, it's it's new to them too. And, you know, the detail that they they come with every single day, they, they're they prepared, you know, even when even when we have like a – when we get the script, probably like late night, really late night or early morning or – but they but they're – they know their keys and they know their checks and all that. So, you know, I'm, I'm definitely impressed and definitely love, you know, this guy right here um, of uh, just, the, and like, like he said, the camaraderie, um, it's definitely, it's definitely not no, I call it like me ball, you know, it's us, you know, it's a, it's a team sport, you know, I couldn't do, I couldn't make the plays, you know, out there without them. Well, for Josh, you know, Sam talked early in the spring about he was going to be Eric's GA, so to speak. He was more involved. What did you think of that? How did that impact you guys? What, just what do you think about the head coach doing that? I mean, for me, it was a dream come true. I committed to Coach Pittman out of high school to be my O-line coach. And to see it now come to fruition, it really is a dream come true. We split up pretty much every day and he'll take uh, – Coach Pittman will take half of the O-line and Coach Mateos will take the other half and then we'll switch. And that – it's just great. <laughs> I mean, Coach Pittman's one of the best offensive line coaches of his generation. And so to have him and then have Coach Mateos, who's going to be one of the best offensive line coaches of the next generation, you couldn't ask for anything better. Braylon Russell, he's played behind you out there in the spring or played like with you guys. What do you think about his run? Do you think something like that can give him confidence? I think it was 25 yards, I believe. Braylon has come a long way. Uh, like... <clears throat> Of course, he he has his 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 moments because he's a freshman. All freshmen learn, but uh, he I, I can tell that he's starting to get it. Uh, his confidence level is starting to rise, 
And I, I told him, like, once you figure it out, bro, you're going to be All-American. Like, he has a size, he has a speed. He said he can catch, but he hadn't really showed me nothing yet. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm really impressed with him, and I, I can't wait to see what he can do. That was a great job. Yep.